Awesome. All right, guys. Well, good. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. If you're watching this video right now, you are given this video, you're a new associate to the company, um, or you're participating in one of our Monday night, one of our Monday night general trainings, and you're you're here now in our uh, basically our insurance 101, really what is TKO? So I'm going to jump right into it. My name is Tony Martinez. I'm the owner and founder of the company. Um, and I want to get right into what this amazing opportunity is by giving it to you and really in pieces. So the idea here is to understand that I want to give you a fundamentals, kind of a base, a baseline. If you were a brand new associate, what are some of the things that you'd want to know in order to be able to elevate yourself to the next level, the next level, the next level, and eventually graduate yourself on to becoming fully independent, fully operational as an agent and, and or as an agency builder. So first and foremost, I'm going to talk about what exactly is TKO Financial Network, right? Our website is tkofinancialnetwork.com, right? TKO, from a marketing standpoint, sounds like technical knockout, TKO, right? Um, some of our past logos were boxing gloves just because it was a good marketing campaign. But the name actually is an acronym for the Kaizen Organization. Kaizen itself is a Japanese word. It means consistent, never-ending growth. Okay. It's a good word for finance. It's a good word for money. It's a good word for self-development. And so I thought it was a great word for what we're trying to create here in this FMO. We are a financial network because we provide a number of different solutions outside of just insurance and annuities. Yes, insurance and annuities is a big part of what we do. However, we wanted to make sure that we could talk to the average middle American client or the wealth of America and be able to provide many other services outside of just that. And so today's going to be that foundation, right? Um, when you guys got enrolled into the company, you received an email. You actually would have received two, right? In that email would have been some instructions to create, to go to this website and begin contracting. I'm just going to kind of go through that process, right? Our website is TKO Financial Network. You would go here to agent login and you would create, sign up. You would sign up and create your own account. I'm already signed up over here. And I encourage everybody to do that. I encourage 100% everybody to do that. A couple of things before we get into the fundamentals of insurance, because that's really what this training is about. It's the fundamentals of insurance. I want you to get out. I want you to know how to get access to all of our trainings that we have. If you want to see all the trainings that we have scheduled, you go right here to this drop down. You go right down here to TKO schedule. I want you to memorize that website right there, Kaizen 2020. You're going to hit TKO schedule. And then you're going to pop in that password right here, right? Kaizen 2020, capital K. And when you do that, you're going to see these two buttons here pop up. The first is access to my calendar. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, whether it's a 15-minute meeting, a 30-minute meeting, or a 60-minute meeting, if it's a client-facing meeting, you want me to sit in with you and be a, be a field trainer for you, a phone zone, whatever it is, you can have, have access to my calendar there. But the most important one is this one right here, our weekly schedule. This gives you access to our weekly schedule, and you're going to see a number of different things and every single one of these, if you click it, it's going to have the Zoom ID affiliated with the meeting. Here's the two that I absolutely, utterly want you to put on your calendar and not miss. Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Eastern time. This is Eastern time, so adjust your calendars accordingly. During those two training sessions, um, that's considered general training. That's when we really practice our role playing, our scripts, our carriers, our products. We have vendors that come. We have wholesalers that come and they, they talk about their product line. We do objection handling. That's really the bread that I mean, the meat and potatoes of being able to run this business is really brand during that training. There's a number of other trainings that are there as well that you could sit in on, like credit repair, Jarvis, our CRM system, health insurance, sales, tax preparations. There's a number of different ones. But the main ones I always want you to be available for is Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time, Saturdays at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Let's get into our presentation here, okay? We have a presentation called the four types of insurances. We're going to go over that today. How you get access to that is by going down to the drop down here. You're going to go right to, where are you? Let's see here. Where are you? Documents and resources right here. When you click documents and resources, there's going to be a link. 
it's going to forward you to a OneDrive file. If you, you might be asked to create a OneDrive account, it's a free account. You might not be asked to. You might not at all, but you might not sure. You're going to go right here to presentations. There's a lot of PDFs in here, a lot of good resources for you in reference to selling, recruiting, carriers, and everything. I just want you to go right now to the presentation side of it. When you click right here to presentation, you're going to see that we've got different types of presentation. One is a recruiting presentation, almost like an orientate, uh, a recruiting interview. I apologize. The second one is a business opportunity presentation. If you want to do a group setting recruiting presentation, right? This is more for one-on-one. -on -one, this is more for group setting. And then the main one that we use is this one right here is our sales flip chart, okay? If you're a digital person, this is what you want to download. If you're a paper person, you probably want to print it, laminate it, you know, put it into a nice folder. But this is our presentation. I'm going to get right into it right now. And here we go. Perfect. All right. So um, let's get right into the biggest presentation I want you to learn, which is TK, which is our, our four types of insurances, okay? Um, let's go right to, here we go. This is where it begins, right? There's four quadrants of wealth, right? Yes, we're having an insurance conversation, but a lot of people don't understand that the wealth of America leverage insurance as an asset rather than as expense. But in order to fully understand that, you have to understand the fundamentals of insurance. You have to understand the fundamentals of wealth, right? There's four quadrants when it comes to investing money. The first quadrant, which is in the top left, is your cash quadrant. And there's pros and cons to everything. I want you to understand there's no such thing as a perfect product. The top quadrant, which is the cash quadrant, the pro is that it's highly liquid, right? Where do, you, where do most people think about putting cash? They think about putting it in the bank, right? Savings accounts, they're very liquid, right? They're very safe as well. People feel very safe putting money in the bank, right? The downside, unfortunately, is that there's not a strong rate of return. And the other downside is that you don't get many tax benefits out of putting the money over there. You get no tax benefits, to be honest with you. This is a place where people should put money into for short-term goals, a vacation that you're taking in the next few months, a car that you want to purchase. You know, if you're within a year's time of buying a house, that's when you want to put money there because it's for short-term purposes, right? The top right quadrant is the real estate quadrant, right? There's a lot of pros and cons to real estate. What's the pro? You can use real estate as a cash flowing investment, buy a piece of property, rent it out. That rental income can pay, based on what you charge, can pay the mortgage and then leave you a net profit, right? Uh, you have tax benefits associated to real estate. If you buy the house at 100,000 and it becomes 200,000, you have $100,000 of equity that you're not paying taxes on until you sell the property. But what's the negative? You have no liquidity and you could have losses. Right, if your money's tied up in real estate, it's tied up into that house. You don't you, you don't have access to that money unless you qualify for a line of credit and pay interest, and you could face losses. You could see the market, the real estate market going down, and you end up owing more money than the house is worth, and then you can't sell it. Right, that's your top right quadrant. The bottom left quadrant is the stock market, and when most people think about the stock market, what's the one place they think about their four hundred one case? Let me put my money in the stock market. I'm going to put it into the 401k because my employer is offering me some type of a matching contribution or they, it's turnkey. They can take care of it, right? What's the positive to the stock market? Number one, you can make a lot of money, right? You could really, I mean, you could really 10x, 20x, 30x, right? Right now, a lot of people could, I would even put crypto into that space. But what's the downside? It's very risky. You can lose all your money. I mean, from one minute to the next, you can lose all your money. March of 2020 that just passed, there was a 31% drop in the market in just 30 days. Can you imagine being the person that has 100 grand in there and all of a sudden, boom, you wake up 30 days from now and you got 70,000 in there because you lost 30% of your money. It's crazy, but you could lose, right? There's also zero tax benefits. A lot of people think, oh, the 401k, I get a tax benefit. I don't got to pay taxes now. You're right. You're not paying taxes now, but is it really a benefit that you're not paying taxes now? knowing that on the back end, you're going to pay taxes not only on your principal, but you're also going to pay taxes on your earnings, right? And obviously, as I said, potential losses. You could lose money because it's very, very risky. These three quadrants right here, a lot of people are familiar with. Not many people understand the bottom right quadrants, the fourth quadrant, right? Where do the wealth invest their money? What if I told you there's a fourth quadrant where you can invest your money, where you're going to get tax benefits, meaning tax-free, by the way, not tax-deferred, but actually tax-free, a place where you still have liquidity, where you can tap into the money 
and not have to worry about paying early withdrawal penalties like you do your 401k. A place where you're going to make a strong rate of return, much stronger than a bank, much stronger than a bond environment. I'm talking six to eight percent type returns, but you're still going to have safety, knowing that if the markets crash, you're not going to lose any money. And in the same token, it's a place where when you hit retirement, you're going to have the choice, not the requirement, not the, not the expectation, but the choice of turning all of your income into a lifetime stream of income, something you can never, ever, ever outlive, which happens to be the biggest risk in retirement, which is out losing your money. Do you know where people, where the wealth of America invest to get all of this? They invest with investment grade insurance companies, life insurance companies to be exact. And to better understand what I'm talking about, I have to give you a basics of insurance. So I'm going to talk about what's called the four types of insurances, which kind of goes through a, a scenario explaining to you the different kinds so that you can understand what this one does that others don't. First type of insurance, we call it term life. Term life, very simple, right? Very simple. I'm going to call this one the Toyota Camry. How does this Toyota Camry work? If I'm talking to a 30-year-old, and she's looking for $500,000 worth of insurance, and she buys a term insurance policy, she's going to get coverage for a total of 30 years. So if she's 30, she'll be protected from 30 to 60, right? 30 to 60, 500,000. What's the benefit to term life insurance? It's super cost effective. She's going to pay 40 bucks a month. 40 bucks, that's nothing, right? That's less than most people's Starbucks bill. And as long as she makes that payment every single month, she has $500,000 worth of protection for 30 years of her life. Now, protection, what, what exactly do you mean by protection? You have access to this money in a number of different ways. The most obvious is what? Death. If you pass away within this 30-year period, you're going to get a death benefit that your family is going to receive for $500,000. The second benefit, however, is called living benefits. Living benefits means what if you get access to that money while you're alive? Not your family, not your beneficiaries, but you. What are some of the things that would need to happen in order for you to get access to the money? Chronic, critical, or terminal illnesses. A chronic illness is a long-term care need. If you need a nurse to take care of you because you can't dress yourself, feed yourself, or whatnot, you're going to get access to this money, and you can use this money to pay for that nurse to take care of you. Critical. Critical is if you develop a critical illness like a cancer, a stroke, a heart attack. You know, nowadays, people have cancer, and they, they, they got to go to work. They might have to go through chemo treatment and stuff, but they're still operating. The bills still keep coming in. It's not, you know, nowadays, it's not fatal to have cancer, to have a heart attack, to have a stroke where it was back in the day, right? You could essentially live through it, but still be going through financial turmoil. So living benefits gives you access to this money while you're going through that. So maybe you could pay for that chemo treatment. You could pay for that alternative medicine that your health insurance doesn't cover. Or maybe you could pay for the deductible that your health insurance charges, Right. And terminal illness is if the doctor says you have left, you have less than 12 months left to live, they're going to give you an advance of your money and go do what you need to do within the time you have left in this world. Death benefit, living benefits, positive, cost effective. Here's the negative though. When 30 years pass, you lose all your insurance. When after 30 years pass, you lose your insurance, you have no more insurance, you're not going to get back any of the money that you paid into it. It was a short term solution. Therefore, it expires. I'm going to call this the Toyota Camry, okay? Second type of insurance, I'm going to call it the GUL. The GUL is more of the Lexus. Now, ask yourself, what costs more money, the Camry or the Lexus? The Toyota or the Lexus edition? It's the Lexus edition, right? It's the Lexus edition. Why does it cost more money? It has better features, holds its value, so on and so forth. So how does the GUL work? The GUL is a policy that instead of lasting you 30 years, the same 30-year-old lady wanting the same $500,000 of insurance can protect herself for 70 years. She'll have coverage until age 100. That's a lot longer. So ask yourself this question. Is there a higher probability that she could pass away between 30 and 100 versus 30 and 60? The answer is yes. There's a much higher probability. Now, because there's a higher probability and because we're protecting a longer period of time, there's a higher cost. The cost is about 130 a month. Right now, GUL stands for guaranteed universal life. The key word here, G, guaranteed. Your money is guaranteed. What? Well, what exactly is guaranteed? Let's ask that question first. Here's what's guaranteed. I'm going to guarantee you five hundred thousand. I'm going to guarantee you one hundred thirty bucks a month, 
I'm going to guarantee you that it's there until age 100. I'm going to guarantee you the same death benefit and living benefits, which, by the way, living benefits becomes extremely crucial for the 80-year-old that needs a nurse to take care of them. This can do that, right? I'm going to guarantee you all of that as long as you make your monthly payment. But I'm going to guarantee you one more thing. Here's that extra feature. 20 years after you've had this policy, or 25 years, right? So if you're 30, 20 years from then, you'd be 50. 25 years from then, you'd be 55. On the 20th year anniversary or the 25th year anniversary, the insurance company is going to give you the option. Here's your option. Keep the insurance. Keep making your monthly payment. No problem. Or cancel this insurance completely. We'll give you a full refund of all the money you ever put in. What's that G word again? Guaranteed. You add up 130 bucks a month for 20 years, it's a $31,000 check. You add 130 bucks a month for 25 years, it's a $39,000 check, guaranteed. So now ask yourself this, if I just bought a house and I bought a 30-year mortgage and I wanted to insure myself for the value of that mortgage so that in case I die, the mortgage is paid off and then 20, 25 years come in and I can get $39,000 back on the 25th year. And I look at my balance of my mortgage and I'm like, man, I paid into it for 25 years. I only got 39,000 left that I owe to pay off this house. Why don't I cancel the insurance, take my money back and then use that money to pay the remaining balance of my mortgage. And now my 30 year mortgage just went down to 25. Why not? Why not? This is an option for you. This is called the Lexus of insurances. What's the pro? For a return of premium guarantee, right? Expires at age 100. What's the negative? There's really no earnings. This is not that asset that I was talking about earlier when I talked about the four quadrants. You're just getting back your money. It's almost like putting the money in the bank. You're only really, you're going to have the guarantee of getting back your money. This is my GUL. Now ask yourself this question. If these are the only two types of insurances that we offered, the only two, which of the two would you more be interested in? Which of the two do you think your market, your community, your family members would be more interested in? A cost-effective solution or one that costs a little bit of money and has better features. Here's the advantage of working at TKO. You get to offer both. And, and guess what? There's a lot more than just these two. There's four more. There's, I'm not, not four more. I'm sorry. There's two more. There's two more, right? So let's talk about the third one. The third one, the third one is the Ferrari of insurance. This is that fourth quadrant. This is the wealth management location. This is exactly where 80% of the Fortune 500 CEOs love to put their money. They love it. It's called a LERP. A LERP stands for Life Insurance Retirement Planning. It is an asset, not an expense. You see, term insurance is an expense. You pay premiums, you got insurance protection, but if you don't die, you lose it. Kind of like car insurance, right? You make your car insurance premiums, if you, if you get into a car wreck, the insurance is there. If you don't get into a car wreck, hey, you paid the money, you, you don't get any of that back, right? A GUL is kind of the same except for that return of premium, right? It's kind of like a savings, but it's still not an asset. I didn't make more money than what I put in. In this one, you make more money than you put in. This is an asset. So how does it work? Let's use the same half a million dollars of insurance. Let's split it up though. Let's say that this policy does two things. To one side, the left, is the death benefit and the living benefit of what it is to have life insurance. However, this one is going to last you until 121 years of age. 121. Not 30 years, not till you're 100, 121. The reason the wealth of America love this is because it is a legacy tool. This is not about if I die, if I get sick. This is when I die, when I get sick, I need to make sure I leave this money behind for my family because I need my last name to live on. I need my family not to be burdened. If it's an early pass, if I pass away early, I need my kids to go to college. I need the mortgage to be paid. I need to replace my income. If it's when I'm in my late 80s or 90s, I need to make sure that my, my kids and my grandkids are taken care of or my church group or my charity group. If it's in my 60s or 70s, I need to make sure my spouse can still retire because the retirement goal was for both of us. That does that. That's this left side right here, right? The right side, is an investment account and your money sits in that investment account. So in this example, I'm putting 250 bucks a month away. It does it have to be 250? No, it doesn't. So right now, if you're watching this video and you're like, man, I'm really interested in something like this. 
but I can't afford 250. I want you to know 250 is just an example. It could go as low as $25. It can go as high as $25,000 a month. This is just 250. What happens with the 250? Part of the money pays the insurance premiums. We know that. This other money here to the right, right, sits in that investment account. And the investment account gives you that liquidity we talked about. It gives you compound interest. It gives you tax benefits. This is like triple compound interest. Why? Because you pay taxes on principal. I'm sorry, you, 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 you make interest on your principal. You make interest on your interest and you make interest on the tax savings that you're now paying in tax. It's almost like triple compounding interest. You get lifetime income, right? And it's perfectly safe. Do you know why? Because it invests into what's called index funds. And if you research index funds and you research Warren Buffett, who happens to be one of the wealthiest people in America, Warren Buffett says, put your dollars in index funds because index funds will mirror the S&P 500, the top 500 companies in the world. And it'll make money when the, when the markets go up. But when the markets go down, it pulls the money out and it says, I don't want to lose anything if the markets go down. So you get a floor, you ready for this word? Guarantee. You get a floor guarantee of 0%. If the markets crash, you don't lose any money. So what are the pros and cons to this? One, it's a retirement tool. You're going to make more money than what you put in. Therefore, you can take that money out in retirement tax-free. Number two, it lasts until 121. You can take out the asset, take out what you made in earnings as a retirement, but leave insurance behind for your family as well. Pretty good, right? It's got tax advantages, tax-free to your family, tax-free to you when you take the money out. It's a legacy tool because it lasted 121. What's the negative? It's not a short-term vehicle. I say this to you with 100% confidence. If you treat this as a vehicle that you're going to go into for only five years, six years, seven years, 10 years, I guarantee you, you're going to get back less than what you put in. Why? Because the first couple of years, your money is used to cover this cost of insurance. But once that cost is, the, the, once the bulk of that cost is already covered, you're going to start to earn a heck of a lot more money than what you're putting in. You'll be able to 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X, 6X, whatever amount of money you put in, tax-free. This is where the wealth of America loves, absolutely, utterly loves to put their money in. And this is one of the insurance products that we're going to be offering to people in, in your community. It's one of the insurance products you're going to be offering to the people in your community. And this might be one of the insurance products that you want to be able to have yourself to protect your family and in the same token, create your generational wealth. Now, that's three out of four insurances. What's the fourth? The fourth is for the procrastinator. The fourth is for the person that says, I don't need insurance right now. I'm young. I don't need insurance. I'm going to get it later. I call this one the Pinto, right? Cameron, Lexus, Ferrari. This is the Pinto. And if you research the Pinto, it was the worst made vehicle on the planet. It had all kinds of mistakes. I mean, this is bottom of the, of the barrel type of solution. Why? Because this is for the person that's 50 plus years of age that waited too long to get insurance and unfortunately doesn't have doesn't have many open doors left of what types of insurances to get. It doesn't mean that you can't get a Camry or a Lexus or a Ferrari. It just means it's going to cost a lot of money to get a Camry, a Lexus, or a Ferrari. And that person might be on a limited budget, right? Final expense is what it's called. It's going to give you ten dollars to $40,000 of insurance. Why? Because it's only there to pay for the final expenses. It's going to cost about 70 bucks a month. It'll last you till 121. So you don't got to worry about outliving it, right? So you do have some benefits, right? It's enough to cover funeral costs. The 70 bucks is a fixed number. It won't change. The 10 to 40,000 that you sign up for is a fixed number. It won't change. As long as you make your payments, it'll be there till 120, no problem. But the negative is it doesn't have living benefits. You can't tap into it if you get cancer, stroke, or heart attack. And it doesn't build any kind of cash, okay? I'm not speaking too negative about it. You know, if I'm talking to the 50-year-old, 55-year-old, 60-year-old, and they reach out to me, they say, Tony, I'm on a limited income. I'm 65. I'm on Social Security. I'm on a limited income. I just want to make sure that my family's not burdened with the funeral costs. You know, great. Final expense is your solution. But I guarantee you, if you talk to any of those people, they would tell you that they wish when they were younger, they would have purchased either a Camry, a Lexus, or a Ferrari and done something at the time when the cost of insurance was a whole lot cheaper. This is your fourth type of insurance. This is your fourth. 
Now, here's what I will tell you. We have some amazing, 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 I repeat, amazing certified trainers in our company, right? This presentation that I gave you guys right now, it's kind of like an insurance 101. That's really what it is. It's an insurance 101. It's designed to give you a presentation that I myself have been using now for 17 years in this industry. I pretty much can say it blindfolded. I could do it, you know, in my sleep, right? Um, and it's helped me give clarity to people who are not from this industry. It uses the analogy of cars because people can relate to that. I keep it very simple. It's an introductory type of a presentation so that the client can say to you, well, listen, I'm, I, you know, based on my budget, based on what you told me, I'm interested in this one. Let's dig a little bit deeper. We have some amazing certified trainers that I want you guys to be able to link up with and partner with. You're not expected to go out to the field by yourself. You're not. But by giving you these types of tools, you get to sharpen your knife off the scene. You get to sharpen your knife behind closed doors. And when you find that meeting, you bring with you a certified trainer. And when you feel confident enough that you don't need a certified trainer, you go out by yourself. But I tell you this, if you master this presentation, you're one step closer to making a six-figure income first year. And it's very, very possible. First year. Now, to close it off, I want to talk about all the departments that we have within this financial network. Because again, this is more than just insurance, right? We have other resources that I want you to know about but I'm not going to dig deeper into them. I'm just going to announce what they are. And if you're interested in learning more, make sure you get with your upline and you schedule a meeting with whichever department head it is within our company that runs those operations. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay. Let me share my screen one more time here and we will finish off. You go back into the website and you go right here into orientation. Someone's probably going to have an orientation with you if you haven't already had it. Hopefully, if you have had it, you're focused on this checklist right here and you're finishing this bad boy off. This is your new associate checklist. Make sure you print it, you look at it, you check it off and you, you make sure that you get whatever it needs to get done, done out of that, okay? But let me go right to the orientation one right here and talk about the departments. All right, so let's talk about all of the departments that we have. Number one, our back office support team, this is their phone number. This is their phone number. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30, okay? I'm going to highlight in yellow which of these departments you call this number for and which of the, of the departments are not highlighted you don't call them for because they're not, they don't run those departments. But here we go. Number one, they run, there's an annuity department, right? If you need to learn more about annuities, we have a specialist on hand that's on deck that's ready to help you compare different annuities, run different illustrations. They'll even get, they'll even sit with you in the client meeting and help you sell the annuity, which is a pension plan for, for people that want to move money over, right? We have a pre-medical underwriting team. This pre-medical underwriting team will take a look at somebody that you have that has some medical issues and shop out the market to see what's the best company you can apply them for. We have a sales team, a sales team that will help you with illustrations, your term insurances, your GULs, your IULs, your final expense. We have a sales team that will help you with that, okay? We have a case management team, right? We have one particular company that we represent called North American, where you get an internal case manager that will help you with the underwriting of that business to make sure that it gets approved. We have a 401k planning team inside of the company where you could speak to someone who wants to create a group bot. Maybe you're talking to the business owner and they want to create a, a new, and, and they're looking for someone that can create a 401k for them and their employees. We have a department for that, a group benefits department. You know, if you want to put some group disability, some group life, some group health insurance, because again, you're working in with small business owners. We have that a disability and long-term care department right? That's huge. Disability insurance replaces your income. Long-term care insurance covers the medical expenses. Long-term care insurance covers the medical expenses that you, that you might need in the event that you need a nurse to take care of you. We have a one-stop illustration system. One-stop illustration system looks like this, where you can log in and you can run quotes with every single company here. I apologize for the noise in the background. You can run quotes with every single company here in one portal. And from there, when you pull the illustrations, you can get those illustrations emailed to you. You can get those illustrations text message to the client as a link. Text message, literally right down there. We have a licensing department that will help you with licensing. Notice I'm not putting it in yellow. That's internal, 
right? We have a health insurance department for, for health insurance during the, the, the ACA open enrollment. We have a Medicare department for clients over 65 that need to get Medicare insurance. We have a life settlements department for people that want to sell their existing life insurances to investment companies. We have an e-commerce department for people that want to create e-commerce stores, Amazon stores, Walmart stores. They want to generate passive income, make 10 to 20%, start making that money 90 days after they invested because they don't mind participating in alternative investments. We have a credit repair division that will help people fix their credit and even my agents, if my agents have issues with credit, take advantage of the credit repair department because you're gonna need good credit to get contracted with all the companies. We have a student loan forgiveness department. We have a student loan forgiveness department that'll help people reduce that $1,000 a month student loan down to 300 a month. And then what could you do with the extra 700 that now they're saving? Maybe we can look into some lurch. Maybe we can look into some more life insurance, some more investments, right? Lastly, we have a tax preparers department. We have a tax repairs department because we know that there's people that need to talk to somebody when, when January, February, March come along when they need to get their tax returns done. They need to find a low cost, cost effective, maybe even virtual way to talk to a tax repair so they can get their taxes filed, they can get their tax returns, and it gives you an opportunity when they get that return to talk to them about investing and getting insurances. All of these departments are inside of TKO Financial Network. Are you required to use every single one of them here? No. If you've got a connection with a good tax preparer, you've got a connection with a good student loan company, you've got a good connection with a good e-commerce, you do that. This is We are a back office to help you build your agency, and we want you to use as many that we have, and we would love for you to use every one of them, but there's nothing at all that's contractually requiring you to use any one of these, but we're here at your service whenever you need it. This video, this video that you're watching right now, if you just saw it, it's probably one of our uplines that just sent it to you. Okay, one of our new associates just sent it to you and wanted to give you kind of a fundamentals of it. Get back to them. Let them know that you let them know you saw this video. Let them know what the next steps are. What the next steps are. Finish your contracting. Go through your orientation part one. Go through your orientation part two. Or let's get out to the field. I don't know where you are. You're in one of these four right now. You're in one of these four right now if you just watch this video or if you just sat in on this training. Either get your contracting done, either, um, either uh, what I, I said, get your contracting done, number one, have your orientation part one done, have your orientation part two done, or actually working the field. Or just maybe you don't have that license yet. And if that's the case, then number five would be get pre-licensing done so that you can get your license and start making all this a reality. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. You have a good day. Be blessed.